Hey guys, good morning from Indonesia, Bali. <sighs> After a long flight, uh, finally I'm in Bali and I'm gonna try to rent a motorcycle first of all, then we will see what can we do in Bali. Alright guys, the first thing you should definitely know that uh, you cannot get a motorcycle from the airport, like you cannot use the Grab app. Actually, you can only uh, call a, a car from airport to the city center, wherever you want to go. But for a motorcycle grab, uh, you cannot call it to the airport. You should go outside of the airport then find a grab. Let's see, I'm walking to find a grab. Normally, I was going to get a grab uh, from the app as I don't have internet. This guy finds me on the way and he said I can take you to Kuta. I will go to Kuta first and I will try to find a motorcycle rental shop and I'm gonna rent a motorbike for two, three days. And he's taking me to Kuta for 20,000 rupiah, right? Only one dollar. It's only one dollar. Well, actually he's complaining about the petrol prices, which he is right. It's also expensive here. One liter petrol is 15, right? Yeah, 15,000. 15, yeah, 15. Yeah, so we're going to Kuta, which is really close by. Five minutes to Kuta, maybe, huh? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm ready, bro. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we are ready to go. The best way to travel around Bali is just getting Grab or a motorcycle, a motorcycle taxis. So it's crazy cheap and really convenient to travel. I need to turn my hat. I don't want it to just fly away. Traffic even with motorcycle? What's your name, bro? I am my name Rumli. What? Rumli. Rumli, man? Yes. Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> I miss you, Bali. It's been a long time. Right before the pandemic, I was in Bali again. Uh, I was here for a week for holiday. And now I'm back again. Normally as a motorcycle rider, I don't really feel comfortable uh, while I'm sitting behind the motorcycle. But in here, I trust the riders because they start riding while they're really uh, small children. I can trust. <laughs> well, I'm the central Kuta. Actually, I'm looking for a, a motorcycle to rent. Uh, we started with the price of 120 and now they lower the price until the 70, 70k. So uh, maybe I'm sure I might find a cheaper one. Probably or 40 or 50 would be the like normal price and we'll see. One thing scares me, the weather. Uh, probably it's gonna wait soon. So if I rent a motorcycle, I'll get totally wet. <laughs> it's been once to me in 2019 when I was in Bali. I was fully wet from head to toe. And I had to ride like around 50, 60 kilometers like in that situation. That was horrible. Well, I thought this was a temple, but as soon as I entered inside, I have seen the lobby of a hotel. Uh, this is a hotel. 
<laughs> you know, uh, Bali is quite famous with its uh, temples. So I thought this is one of the temples, but it's a luxury hotel. Right, let's keep walking in Kuta and until, the, until we find the motorcycle. While I was walking in Kuta, I have seen a, a beach sign and just wanted to go and see the beach in Kuta. I was wondering, actually, it's my first time in Kuta. I haven't been here yet. The last time we were in Seminyak and we traveled mostly to the northern Bali. Now let's keep walking in Kuta and discover here. But mostly tourists, Australian tourists are coming here uh, because of the surfing. Uh, the ocean is quite wavy and it's really good for surfing. That's why they make it here and also it's close to uh, Australia. So also cheap and it makes it a, a brilliant destination for Australian to get here and surf in Bali. We are about to arrive at the beach. Here is the Kuta beach. And let's see what people are doing here in general. Some people are sitting here. Right. This is the beach. There is a resort over there. And this is one big empty beach. No one is here. Mostly people are the seaside are on the seaside you can see there and in this side nobody's here and the waves are not that huge just few people are enjoying it. the beach well let's see let me focus on my task to find a motorcycle to rent and see better beaches better places in Mali <laughs> I told you it's raining right now and I'm sure it's gonna heavily ride in a second. This is Bali, it happens here. Uh, it made me think about, again, about uh, renting a motorcycle. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I feel a little bit sick. I took this immune plus, it's fresh. Freshly made with ginger, lime, mint. I needed this to boost then. It's raining outside and I will try to find a motorcycle place to rent. I'm still looking for it. I didn't really get uh, my price yet. But, and because of the weather, I'm not really sure to renting a motorcycle. Maybe I might just, I might just use the Grab instead. We will see. It's been two hours from the rain started. And it's still raining. It's not the best time, but we will see. Thank you, thank you. I know it's poncho. I know, thank you. I don't need. No. He's trying to sell me the poncho. But I need to find this motorcycle first. I'm not, still not sure. <laughs> I didn't see you. That is my bike. I'm going to rent this tiny bike. 110cc. And I'm with him for two days it is Honda you know as I have a Honda bike I like Honda bikes I rented a Honda bike it was the cheapest actually it is uh, 60k for for one day so no 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 it's 80k for one day so for two days it's 160k I rented it from uh, Nichols Valley actually they are mechanics too and they have like a couple of other choices so that's my bike right right that's the red bike. one yeah. oh very nice tiny for me marhaba marhaba, marhaba. yes you speak turkish yeah and you like my wife yeah it's pretty pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> all right i rented the bike from here from kuta and I don't know where I'm heading right now. Probably I'm gonna go to Seminyak area first. Then we will see where to go. She's gonna give me the rain cover, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so at least I will not get wet. Uh, I'll go with this Honda. Scoopy. Scoopy. Scoopy, right. let's go. 